been working my way north along the Oregon coast today and uh, I've settled on photographing the Yakina Head. Uh, there's a lighthouse here which is a wonderful subject. I've photographed that many times. Today I want to spend time exploring the surrounding area. So the, the, the coastal access, what's available, so some lookouts here, and the lighthouse of course I'll make a visit. So uh, that is what I'm going to do today. It's a very lovely day. The sun is shining brightly right now. I see some uh, nice white clouds. But it's, uh, it's going to be a really, really nice day for photography. Started with a walk up above the beach I want to go down to. There's this really nice kind of dome-shaped rock in front of the lighthouse. Kind of, uh, you know, showing the lighthouse in context, the lighthouse to protect people from hitting these gigantic rocks out here. I'm going to try and frame up a shot that has both of those things. So i got to hike up the hill a little bit. And the goal is to get far enough up there so that uh, I don't have the parking lot and the other uh, cars and so forth in the frame. Well, this vantage over my shoulder should be pretty good. Uh, there's enough separation of the lighthouse and the rocks I want to photograph from uh, all the human element. The, the lighthouse is the only human element I want in this photo. I might have to do a little bit of cloning work on those stairs, but you know, we'll, we'll see how the frame shapes up. Yeah, this is definitely going to work. Uh, the shot's looking pretty nice. I'm going to do a couple more with uh, adding a little bit of uh, darker glass just to smooth the water ever so slightly. It's very bright out here, so um, you know even a six stop is only getting us to um, you know, one twenty in a second or so. But I don't want too much smooth water on this. I want there to be some chop. This lighthouse is protecting us from this choppy surf. So uh, yeah, that uh, that's about it. That's that's a little touch, just a tiny bit of drag. Uh, Cobble Beach is definitely very cool. Uh, you've got th these black fist-sized stones. They're all smoothed by the ocean. Lighthouse behind me. There's some really cool sea stacks just on uh, camera. Uh, well, camera this way. My right and my left are confused and I'm standing in front of the camera. Uh, oh, this is going to be great. And that sound, that sound when the waves rush away from smooth rocks like this, Sounds like a crackling fire. Oh, I, I, I can't get enough of that. That is just so cool. All right, let's get something framed up here. I really want the ocean to come in alongside me, kind of create a line through the scene. There's really not anything happening up in the sky right now. So I need this to fill in to make this, to make this composition work. That one might do it, might get me wet instead. Ah, kind of. I love that sound though. Um, I'm gonna have to adjust. I'm gonna need to move forward more. This, um, this isn't gonna fill in the way I want it to. The tide's starting to recede. And uh, I want the curve of the land. So I, I need to move forward, I need to go forward. I'm gonna watch the surf here for a little bit and see how it behaves in front of this rock. Um, I might set up right in there to see what this does. So it's just touching my boots here. That's a nice fill. I should be taking this picture. <laughs> All right, if I get that, then this composition can work. As a matter of fact, now I can kind of adjust for that. And it might even let me trim out the stairwell. All right, 125th. We're probably talking six stops easy. So let's begin there. I'll keep the polarizer in and then add a six. Slide that right in there. All right, let's see how we do here. Four seconds is a little long. I can back off, oh, three seconds now that I got my hands out of the way. I can back off the aperture a little bit. I want a certain a, a certain flow. All right, F14 is giving me a third. Let me try that when the next surge comes in. Actually, this position change is good. It's uh, 
it's eliminated uh, having people come and go because I'm flirting with the, uh, the edge of the surf here. My remote trigger has been misbehaving my entire trip. Let me test it right now, see if I get lucky. Negative on that, so we're gonna stick with uh, lower or, uh, or, or faster shutter speeds where I'm stable enough I can get a third a second out of the tripod. There. All right, here comes one, here comes one. I really like this scene, but uh, it's super contrasted because of the light. I'm here, I'll set up and get the shot. I'm just not sure how much I'm gonna be able to bring out. Um, actually, it gets, it gets worse when I shoot into the sun. And I don't want that no climbing sign in the photo. Well, that's an easy removal. But this, this is a nice composition, a nice action in the midground. Even a little bit of clouds up there. It's it's worth this. It's worth the try. It's worth a try. All right, let's get set up here. And uh, first thing I got to decide is how high I need to be to keep separation in the elements there, and whether or not I need the, the 16 to 35. Let me try that really quickly here, just to eyeball it. Where am I at? 30. I probably don't. Although, this is the sharper of my two lenses, so since I won't be going out past 35, I'll stick with this lens. All right, now let's get framed up here. And check low versus high. So this is low, and what I'm really concentrating on is that mid-ground. I need a wave to come surging through to provide the separation, but I definitely need to come up to eye level. Maybe even a little higher. Let's try that. All right, when I get the right curl of water, it makes a nice S through here. If some comes around the, the rock to the left, some sweeps through from the right. The challenge is getting a shutter speed that's gonna work. I'm, uh, I'm like right in between filter zones. I've got a six on there right now with a polarizer, so like seven-ish stops. And uh, I, I want like just a little bit more. Um, I don't often do this, but I may funk down to like F18 or F22 just to get the drag that I want. F20 seems to be doing it about right. It's getting me that sweet spot between a quarter and a half a second. And that's the right amount of drag for this, especially as it drains out. I get this curl that comes around coming in from camera left and uh, just leads right into the frame. And there's a, there's a family of sea lions, or maybe they're harbor seals actually that have you know, taken, uh, taken up in between the rocks there. So they'll be in the photo as well. Now this has been a fun morning. It's a good spot right here to take a little break. It's um, removed a little bit from the surf line. So it's incredible how much quieter it is just 30 feet from the edge of the, the surf. Although I've got a, a waterfall that's uh, spilling behind me, a makeshift one, more of a Oh, is it a waterfall? I guess, I guess we'll call it a waterfall. But that's making its own uh, gentle, soothing noises. Take a break, have a sip of water. Uh, I can actually see the grouping of rocks that was just working uh, from an elevated angle. I might break out the long lens and grab some of those before heading back up topside. This is a, this is a good place. I'd, I'd love to get back here uh, in late afternoon. Actually, it would be great to be here in the morning time, but the park isn't open, because uh, I would love to have this at sunrise, but uh, a late afternoon or sunset would be equally nice.